Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are back with another battle of the brands. We have again Tymo versus Dyson. Some of you guys may have seen a video that I posted comparing the Dyson to the Tymo Air Hype. Tymo has asked me to once again compare one of their dryers to the Dyson, but this time it's the Air Hype Light. Y'all, I haven't even cracked it open yet, so let's see what's inside. So we're gonna open it up. And this is what it looks like. I feel like this is even more compact than the other one. It definitely comes with lighter packaging than the Air Hype. It's just this box, plastic insert, blow dryer, concentrated airflow nozzle. I did order the adjustable diffuser. It looks exactly the same as the diffuser head um, that came with the Air Hype. It has like adjustable prongs to help you like get in there even better, which I think it's a really cool feature actually. Let's go ahead and unwrap this bad boy. It has the Timo branding on it. It has a switch here and then it has two buttons here. And these buttons are more are flatter, so I wonder if I'll have less of an issue of accidentally pressing the buttons kind of how I did with the Air Hype. Definitely might be better, but I really just want to get into this comparison. I'm hoping that I don't flip a breaker again. Remember last time like all the lights went out? That was a lot. So I tried to use different outlets around this room. I don't know how successful that's going to be, but uh, we shall see. Just like the Dyson, the Timo Air Hype Light has a magnetic attachment. You don't have to worry about it flying off anywhere. Super easy. And let me go ahead and plug her up. Okay, so where my extension cord like comes to is quite far away, but this is still, like the cord is very long. The Dyson also has a really long cord. The Air Hype Light is definitely lighter than the Dyson. The quality of the Air Hype Light doesn't seem less than the Air Hype, but it definitely is like souped down. It's not less quality, but it's like less bells and whistles, it seems like. There's no LED display, like it's just different. But it is small and compact, which, of course is definitely a plus as well the timo air hive light retails for under a hundred dollars so if it's just as good or really really close to the dyson you're getting a steal basically last time i did a comparison video like this somebody commented and asked if i could have my hair like all the way wet when i actually start drying because last time i let my hair air dry a little bit first so today the hair is wet. I set up all my equipment before I did my wash and go. That way I knew that it was going to be wet. And it is. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and get started on the right side of my head with the Timo Air Hype Light. Let's just turn it on. So it has three settings for airflow. This is low, medium, high. See that? I'm gonna use the highest airflow setting because I don't think it will make my hair frizzy. And then for heat, I'm gonna put it on 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Cause this thing gets hot, okay? It gets hot. All right, so it's time to see how long it takes to dry the Timo side of my head. <laughs> I just dried this side of my hair. I would say it's 96% dry. First of all, the definition is amazing. Um, I don't see frizz. What? Period. That took nine minutes. Nine minutes to dry this half of my head. And like I said, it's like 96% dry. There's a couple of, of wet spots. We could have used an extra one or two minutes to hit some of the spots. You know when your hair is hot, it feels dry, and then it just feels a little bit less dry. Should we do one more minute and just get it to 10 and just see how it does? Let's do that. <laughs> okay. So, I feel like it's still warm, so... Okay. But one more minute definitely got us closer. I would definitely say use the adjustable diffuser up, like the taller um, spikes. <laughs> For the roots works really well but when you want to get the ends of your hair it definitely makes sense to like shorten it back down and get the ends because that just dried them way faster than what I was doing before so that's kind of on me but we're going to give it even 10 minutes because I added an extra minute and this side of my hair definitely looks really really good so now for the Dyson side do like similar settings like I did the heat setting on two and I did the airflow setting on two as well Cause I have something to say to everybody you pay wherever I want Dressed in the gown, everybody's like, why? 
All right, so I just finished the Dyson side of my hair and we finished at around six minutes. So while that may seem like a significant difference, I still think that 10 minutes is still really, really quick for diffusing this entire side of my head from wet. I didn't use cream products and I didn't use heavy gels. I used a mousse. The mousse did leave my hair really wet, but I do feel like a mousse would dry faster than like... Um, heavier creams and things like that. So that's something to keep in mind. 10 minutes of drying on that this side, like that's a pretty quick wash and go. Of course, the Dyson was a bit faster, but is it $430 faster? That's the question you have to answer to yourself, honey. To yourself. I already got both of them. <laughs> Y'all, I'm very impressed with the Timo Air Hype Light. Very impressed. The frizz is zero. Let's talk about that. Another thing about high speed air dryers is that they're able to dry your hair faster with less damage and less heat. So whereas I could diffuse my hair on the highest heat setting with my regular Conair hair dryer with the diffuser attachment and I could be there for like 30, 40 minutes and still be burning the heck out of my hair. It's compact, great for travel, it's lightweight and it works really well. I initially said that the Air Hype Light was lighter than the Dyson, which without the attachments, that's true. But once I put the attachments on, they feel the same. So my assumption is that the diffuser attachment on the Tymo is heavier than the one on the Dyson. Whichever one you would go with, your arm is not going to fall off, it's not going to be tired, it's not going to be burning, that's not going to be an issue for you. As far as the sound, I feel like they're both really quiet. Like, I feel like they're probably just as quiet as each other. I could blow dry my hair with both of them and watch my iPad with no headphones and still hear it. So for this battle of the brands, like I said, Timo takes a cake on price. Dyson prevailed when it came to drying time, at least on my head. They're so neck and neck that I just feel like the only factor you really need to look at after everything else kind of being so similar is the price. And we already talked about price. You already know what it is. If you're buying any blow dryer, like don't spend 60 on some random blow dryer. Spend the money on the Timo Air Hype Light because some of us are not trying to break the bank for this blow dryer. But you could pick this up for like a quarter of the price, less than a quarter of the price, and still get amazing results, the same results, with almost the same amount of time. Like, come on. It's giving no brainer. Like, do I even have to do the battle of brands? Like, do I even have to really do it? Once Timo has come out with the Air Hype Light, there's no reason to have a regular hair dryer that's gonna fry your hair, that's heavy, that the diffuser keeps falling off. Like, we don't really have excuses anymore because this price point has obliterated all of our excuses. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the link down below and even the code that I can provide for you to help you get some money off. And we're gonna buy a Timo hair dryer. Either the Air Hype or the Air Hype Light. I feel like either way you can't go wrong. Under $100, under $200. Why would you not get it? That's all I have to say. Okay, so I went ahead and fluffed my hair out. Last time I did a video like this, you guys wanted to know what I styled my hair with, and I don't think I ever said, and I couldn't remember. So here we go. I used Shampoo and Conditioner by Mish, and I used this styling product. This is the Kaleidoscope Miracle Drop Styling Foam. I love a good mousse, and I feel like a mousse like just gives me so much fluff, bounce, and definition. To separate my curls, I use Simplicity Hair Oil. This is the Show Hair Oil Blend. I've been using these products by Show on my channel for years. For years and years and years. Those are the products that I used. I wanted to show you guys the final result. So yeah, you guys, that's pretty much it for this battle of the brands. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that this video helped you guys make a decision. And if you've been looking at the Dyson and want something similar, but don't want to pay that price, I hope this is another option that you will consider. I don't really think that you really need to think about it. It's very much giving no-brainer, but of course I've only tried this one once, so if you guys want to see more, then definitely let me know. I feel like I'm gonna eventually have to gift this one because I have other hair dryers, like I have the Dyson, I have the Air Hype. I feel like I might have to give it away after a while, but I'll get some more uses out of it first. That way I can keep you guys updated. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me so you can stay up to date. And TikTok. I've been on TikTok sharing a lot about my journey with ADHD, so hey, 
If you want to be on TikTok with me, follow me. My handles are the same everywhere, The Beth Method. But yeah, I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Never seen it like this, didn't think it existed, no truth